Welcome to Commodity Analysis, Tuesday the 16th of April and the free mini S&P recap and commentary and let's get straight into it. Yesterday we saw a big down day. Uh, what we want to really know is, is there more left in that move down? Is that a game changer? I just want to show you this. I, I've started, I'm using the eSignal platform here. Look at the blue fork. Uh, we've seen this and we've been playing with it a lot in the uh, MetaTrader with the automatic drawn um, reaction lines. Reaction line, as you know, this is this is the predominant fork. Reaction line is a distance from here to here projected forward into the fork. And here is, because uh, they're drawn manually, you'll see that is the distance. This shares the same frequency in the angle of uh, this BC line. And let's project it forward into the fork. There's the 50%. Oops, there we go. That's that's about as I reckon that's spot on. Um, that is pretty good. The 50% is always an important one to watch. There we are. This is in the 240. And if we just squeeze out a bit, that is definitely, definitely one of the lines responsible. This reaction line here, I believe, represents all of the energy in this whole long move. And what I'm going to show you, let's we're going to we're going to leave. We're going to go into uh, MetaTrader now, and, and there's the same fork. Uh, and I'm just going to dis d try and show you. There is the fork drawn in the 2:40 minute again. Uh, there is the fork showing in the hourly. And if we superimpose a map, and that's an automatically drawn trend line, just so we're uh, you know uh, everyone knows that if, as soon as it ticks, um, refresh. There you go. It goes straight back. Uh, let's have a look at what this line looks like. If we superimpose a line, because you know that I'm keen on uh, actually knowing the true location of lines, because using these indicators and, and just by the very nature of uh, the data we're... There you go. The, by the n very nature of uh, this data representation, we're using candles here. Uh, there are all sorts of uh, aberrations and, and um, uh, problems that uh, I don't want to go into now. They're dealt with on the course. Uh, all sorts of problems and what we really need to do is to see this line breached but there are other reaction lines uh, there's a whole channel of three of them we've identified this was the trade yesterday after we saw that in the hourly after we saw this bar uh, we were in um, and I guess if you uh, wanted to be really uh, clever you could say see if this shares the same frequency uh, and, I, and I guess uh, there we are we're just copying that uh, I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, that reaction line um, and you'll know about mirror lines if you've done the course because I believe that just like a fork each one of these reaction lines has a line either side of it um, and we'll talk about that again uh, in the in the private sessions uh, and and you'll see us it's proved time and time again but we're not going to get into that now there is the location uh, the automatic uh, indicator location of that reaction line. There we are, it's popped back. Um, and what we're looking at is now we know why it's come off and, and the reason why this um, uh, falls happened. Is this a good point to get in? Have we found support here? That was a completely clean, if you remember that, that long entry we took um, 10 days ago, that was a completely clean entry. There was very little on the line. Do you remember? Um, the price really... Well, let's go back to it. Where is it? There, it's around. There we are. Um, that was a really clean, lovely entry. Lovely candles, uh, support on the line, and very accurate entry. This, I'm not sure how much more there is in this move. We've seen gold, and there's a lot going on on the macro side. Uh, is this going to hold this area here? And that's what we're going to deal with today. Let's just drop down and leave this chart and go into, and there we are again. Now, this is a multiple indicator, multiple reaction line. Have we found, have we found support on this big, fat mother of a fork here? Let's just, in fact, we will go back to e-signal, and I'll just show you what we're talking about here. We're talking, let's just draw a fork for you in e-signal. One, two, three, okay? Now, let's have a look at the frequency. Because what we is, you know, it's all very well knowing what's causing the uh, market to fall. Uh, what we really want to do is go long. Uh, I'm not a great short man on the e mini SP. I used to be and got, uh, you know, I, I learned that lesson. So I tend to, on the whole, 
do long entries and I'm looking for a long entry. I still believe at this moment in time the uptrend is intact. Okay, just so everyone knows the uptrend is intact. Whether that will be the case by the end of this week, I do not know. But what I want to know is is this area going to hold? This fork that I've just I've just uh, drawn and we'll just make that nice and thick and black. Let's have a look at a lower time frame. Let's go down to the 60 minute and see there's our beautiful entry um week before last. There's yesterday's big bar down. Uh that's a that's you know quite a serious penetration. Um there's obvious things we can do and I'll start to do this in MetaTrader in a minute. We can start to do things like that. We can start to do yeah, I do even things like this will be the first there we go. This area here. All these forks we can draw. Let's get rid of them and ultimately what we're looking at for price to maintain its momentum. We need to see it up here again. We're talking about a big rally up to the 70s and high uh, low 80s. Right, let's go into MetaTrader. Let's for a start look at this. We're going to look for a retouch and see how price behaves when it meets this reaction line again. And there you are. That one you can see if I hover there over it is called big reaction line number 11. That may be from another fork. In fact, what we're looking at, let me have a look. I'm pretty sure that is the same reaction line. It's certainly not number 11. It's number 1. But let's go down and see. I've just superimposed over. We're looking for a retouch on this line. And we want to see price. I guess price will come down to uh, this area here, which is 1545. Maybe down to here. Uh, and 1547, 1548, the low, f uh, so basically f the area around uh, 1550. And if we see, see support there, we may be. Uh, now, now, there's a more accurate uh, chart. And that's a five minute. Uh, now, let's go in. You can see here we've got. Now, this is the reaction line um, chart. And this shows this thick red band here is a long term reaction line from a monthly fork. And that's been supporting price, and I can show you if I go into the, it goes right through price. See, it's responsible for resistance there. Remember, distribution along a line is uh, not an exact science. Now, we look, look, we're fi trading 1553 and pushing up, and we've still got uh, well over an hour to go. Now, we're right on this reaction line here, number from fork number 16. Um, let's just superimpose over that a line so when we drop down to the five let's have a look there we are you can see now we may zoom through this and then we've got this reaction line now I want to show you uh, there we are there we are now this is a band of the three reaction lines this whole area is gonna be choppy there's no doubt about it this whole area is gonna be choppy have we seen support here this horizontal line is the line that now this looks a bit of bird's nest but that's another horizontal support line incredibly important now we have a supporting reaction line there 2q can you see that that's beautiful that is beautiful this is the lines work you see if you look at it in the 30 minute there it is i've superimposed over it now that's the original reaction line let's 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 uh, show you again let's refresh back it goes and let's draw over that line and let's this time make this little chap here a solid okay like that so we don't have a huge problem identifying him now we've got to get this bang on and that means this out at this end whoop there we go wait a minute is that right let's have a look there we go that's good as for the purposes of demonstration and here you can see we had a down sloping reaction line that isn't visible there you go carries price down catches on this reaction line distribution isn't bad a little small bar square bar underneath it another retouch here and this is all the time while it's being supported by this green line which is the same line I drew in e signal earlier on now we've got another reaction line coming up all I want to remind you is this market always trades from the long side. I don't know what other asset classes people are thinking of putting their money into at the moment. Equities are still one of the markets to remain in.
one of the asset classes. I can't see this market dumping at the moment. However, we may have another down day. This move we've seen, if we go back, this move down that we've seen represents 50% of this, and let's put a Fib retracement just to show you. It's not even the 382. It re represents, if we can squash this up, and I'll show you. There we go. Where is it? I want to drop there from here. It's a 50% retracement, if I remember. And we're not showing a 50% here, so let's edit that. And let's put the 48 and the 50 on apply. OK, there we go. It's roughly a 50% retracement. Now, is this done? That's what we're trying to see this afternoon. That's That actually shows you... I don't know what we're doing there. Let's remove that. Maybe it's... Actually, no. It's the... F what are we doing? Let's put that boy in there. There you go. There's the 618 and the 50. It's from the bottom of that head and shoulders. In we go. Apply. OK. There's the 50. And that's probably the 0.48. Apply. OK. There we go. Right? Uh, always nice to see the fibs lining up alongside the lines. Um, we don't trade the fibs on their own, but it's more supporting evidence, building a case for a potential trade. Have we bottomed here? That's what we're waiting to see. We'll be back later on. Remember to watch this line and this line and this line. Those three, the big reaction line, the retest of it, and you can draw that yourself. You can draw all these yourself, okay? If you had subscribed, you'd be short here yesterday and have taken six points out of the market with a, with a minute stop. But here we are today, we're flat, we're looking for a long entry, and we'll be back later on.